Top middle bro. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about it. Right, John Jr. Is it working? Middle Ace Baldwin Jr. Yeah, on your left, here Watkins. Whenever you guys are ready, fire away. You like what you said? <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just us, like, knowing my teammates, knowing I, knowing I got confidence in them, and also them just being in the gym, knowing, like, I know they can make that shot. So just giving them the confidence and the boost. Ace, you're a certified leader. You know, you heard last year you came back in record time. Just talk about what you did over the summer. You just look like an even better player than you were before. Uh, to be honest, I really just, uh, in the summertime, I really ain't go home that much. I stayed back uh, here. And also, uh, Coach been on me big about being a leader, so I just been big on that, using my voice. I want to talk to you guys about the defense tonight. You guys, defense, you cost 27 turnovers. Talk about that effort that you guys put forth to make those guys turn the ball over 27 times for a I ain't, that's just a VCU thing, to be honest. And also, that's all we work on in practice, just defense. And we put pride in that. Brandon, hey. Brandon you, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you got it. Uh, for, well, I mean, this is the second time being in the Seagull Center now because it's like a goal game, but it's just a different vibe in there, like the, with the crowd, with the fans, with the team. Uh, it just feels warm and welcoming. So, like, it's really hard to be, not be comfortable on the court. And uh, with everybody's energy and support, um, it just keeps everybody going, it keeps the energy at top notch level. Hey, let's talk about his defense. He was long all over the floor, and you push your defense. Talk about that defense about him. Uh, that's just what we, like I said, that's just what we work on, and that's why we got B. Johns on the team, just to use his athletic and his uh, long. Pause. <laughs> so, congratulations on the win. Um, who was you guys? Um, we had two double-digit runs in the first half. Um, who was your thoughts on that? Uh, you want, y'all want to go? Sure. Okay. Uh, really, like, just to stay together throughout each half, for real. Like, we, we all trusting each other, so, like, the more we, like, create that bond, like, we just going to keep, like, connecting on and off the court for real. Brandon, what do you, you want to see out of the season? And how do you feel like you've assimilated the team at this point? Because you obviously come in, you don't have a lot of time. Uh, I just really want to see everybody's success. I want to see everybody succeed more than anything. Um, <laughs> I think we have a lot of interesting and unique guys um, that can do a lot for us on the court. And um, I think as long as we keep that confidence and aggressiveness uh, throughout this year, I think we can do a lot of great things. So um, my main focus is just to be a positive teammate, keep uplifting everybody. And, um, yeah. Jameer, it's your special first game back from the injury. Yes, uh, sir. My father cut you off. My <laughs> boy. <laughs> yes, I, sir. I feel being out there in front of the crowd. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, it felt good. I've been waiting, like, a long time to really get back out there. But, like, sharing the court with my brothers again, like, it felt really good getting back out there. Hey, so does it mean to happen that? I ain't going to lie. I've been missing him for two years. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Like, really happy for him. He played great tonight. And I just keep looking forward into the season. Keep playing with him. Hey, so where do you see those passes that you make? You said, what do I see? Where, yeah, what do you see and where do you see them? Because some of them <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. I think that's just God gift. I'm just God gift. Where do you guys think you need to improve moving forward? Uh, just a second half was bad. We just need to uh, work on and finish out closing out when the game's better. Cause I think we lost the second half, if I'm not mistaken. So I think we should just like, yeah, uh, just <clears throat> just finish the game out. And just keep stepping on that net. You're right. Oh, yeah. I'm glad Wait, you said that. Sure. That's exactly what we need to work on. You're right. Tomorrow, Tomorrow, we off, but we definitely in that gym working on free throws, for sure. Uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's what we've been working on every day, though. So we're just going to keep on working on it and just keep perfecting it.
Yeah. Having a short week outside of the game on Saturday. Um, what's like your focus um, for the next four days? Uh, just keep being in the gym. Just like I said, just keep perfecting our craft. Like we always could get better at what we could do. And also, I want to say shout out to the best fans in the nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else, guys? Right. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it, y'all. Thanks for talking about that. Bruce, it's a good player out there. <laughs> Coach, over the statement, and then we'll go ahead and open up your questions. Are you, you back, man? All right. All right. How about that Logan Rhodes as well? Not man. bad, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's not as fast as his dad, but he's getting there. <laughs> Taylor, two halves, um, you know, uh, I'm not glad it happened, but I'm sort of glad it happened because I'll have their attention from the second half on Wednesday. And uh, for Wednesday's practice, we'll have their attention with the second half. Um, the first half, the guys are ready to play, played the right way, really shared that basketball. Um, look, I don't care who you play, you, you hold a college basketball team to 56 points, pretty good defense, but I thought we made a lot of mistakes on defense that we can even get better at. Um, offensively in the second half, we just were a little too cool. And uh, so get their attention uh, from the second half. But um, you know, good first win. Credit to Manhattan and their coach. Uh, you know, it's a little bit, right? last year we went through some of these injuries late and in, early in the year and, and uh, had to change things going into the first game, the first first couple, couple games with Ace out and Jameer and and uh, you know those guys had to make some changes, but you know they, they're they're gonna, they have a bunch of seniors. They've been through battles before, so credit to their coach to come down here and 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 battle like they did. So uh, I like my team. I like my team a lot. Uh, they they play for each other. Uh, it's just the first one. I think we can get a lot better. So, coach, uh, talk about what's again? Congratulations on the win. Uh, talk about your defense. Obviously, you forced uh, 28 turnovers and also. 17 points off those turnovers. Um, your thoughts on that? Yeah, that, we always want to do that. We want to get deflections. We want to get steals. Uh, we, you know, we want to, you know, get in the way, right? Um, I just thought we lost our discipline. I thought in the first half we really guarded with great discipline and didn't foul. In the second half, it was almost like we were wilding a little bit, and we're like, you know, as as, as sometimes we say, feast or famine, right? Like I'm just, you know, we trapped on on a on a miss in the middle of the court. We don't do that. We had two older guys twice run to the ball. We had two guys on the ball and when they made that 9-0 run. You know, just things we could fix. But definitely, we want to get, we want to turn people over. We want to get deflections. We want to make them take tough shots. We want to force them into bad shots at the end of our press. And um, when you have guys that can guard the ball like we do, um, you. you you're going to get turnovers, and those turnovers turn into points. I thought we had a couple good steals and turnovers, and we didn't cash cash in, and we got to do that. Um, I, I thought in the second half we had three steals where we didn't we didn't get the points or draw fouls, gave it back to them or missed shots. We, we, we got to get better at that, that converting. Coach, Brandon Jones, he looked like he could score 20, 30 points easily, but it looked like he was more worried about the team concept than Man. playing defense. Talk about and you and I saw you. I saw you one day. You said I, I got this guy coming to VCU, and I think I think now I know what you're talking about. Talk about how legit this guy is. He's just a really good basketball player. He plays really hard. He played to exhaustion today and and, and subbed out. Went back in and played to exhaustion again. Now he's a fifth year senior. He battled big bodies in the Big Ten. He knows how to play. As you saw, his versatility. He can step away and make shots. He can put on the floor. He could rebound. He he could play, guard multiple spots. He just knows how. To, he's just a good basketball player. As good of a basketball player as he is, up until now, he's been an unbelievable kid. I I, I just said on the radio. He's only been here since like July first, and it, it feels like he's been here for a couple of years. Just the way he fit in with the team and the staff. It's just been a lot of fun to coach. And and you're right. He uh, he puts the team first. He's having a lot of fun. Coach Ace looks like Ace looks like he's gotten better. I told him he was an A, like he's gotten a lot better. Talk about his progression through the offseason and just what he's bringing to your ball club right now. Well, this is the first full offseason he had not being hurt. Uh, his freshman year, he came in with a broken wrist and, and hurt his knee in, in, uh, right before Alhambra's senior year. So, and that was COVID. So he, had, he was battling, re he was rehabbing there. 
and then of course the Achilles. So this this May all the way till now is the first time where he didn't have to battle injuries just to get back out in the court. So he really did a great job getting in the gym at night. Came back sec two or three times for workouts. Um, and when you do that, nobody knows, right? Probably good things are going to happen. He's just a really good basketball player, and I'm glad we have him. Um, he makes the game easier for for his teammates, and that's what point guards are supposed to do. Well, going off of that, how deep is this team? The team looked very deep tonight. Of course, it's only the first game, but talk about that depth that you have that you can play, you know, all throughout the game. Yeah, we played nine guys, 11 minutes or more, and then uh, – Fats was right around a little over six, uh, you know, and those, I thought the three freshmen did some good things today, and you know, they were a little deer in headlights at times, but that, that's, you know, they just got to continue to learn to play defense our way. They're all going to get better and better. So, yeah, I mean, we, we could play big. We could play long and athletic. We could play with four guards because even those, some of those wings are, are big. Um, you know, we, we could play with different and multiple ball handlers out there play with some shooters out there. So uh, this is definitely the deepest team and with talent that I've had in my six years. Uh, we just got to learn to learn to play defense and then put people away at a, at a high level. What would you say learn how to play defense? You forced 27 turnovers. What does that say about your team and what their potential is? Well, it, it's just a standard. Like that, it, I mean, the stats are awesome. I'm, like I'm not, like, <laughs> turn somebody over that much, it's great. But this the standard. Uh, I've said this, I think I might have said this, but uh, the, the greatest warriors in history, right, they were, they were killers, right? But they had unbelievable discipline, and you read about them. And, and, and I tell our guys that, like, that's the type of warrior we want to be. That's the type of player you want to be. You want to go after people, and you want to play our style, but you also have to, at all times, have unbelievable discipline. And uh, we didn't have enough of it today or to our standard, but it's the first game, and we have – Really, counting Jameer as a new guy, eight, we have eight new guys. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. And, and uh, I'm not glad the second half happened, but part of me, I'm glad because we, now we have their attention watching tape on Wednesday. And, hey, we could be better than – we could be better. And that's the fun thing. Scott, you're an old point guard. What is it you like best about Ace? Is it the passing or leadership? Yeah. Well, his passing is just innate, right? Yeah. It just he, he sees things develop and he catches he catches rotations stuck in between. Um, but his, his competitiveness is he got an edge, man. He just got an edge. I always say about Ace to beat him, you got to kill him, even in a drill. And that, you know that's those are the type of point guards you want. Those are the type of players you want, especially point guards. He sees the floor. The greatest compliment you can get in a team sport is you make those around you better. He does that on both ends of the court. Coach, um, JJ, in my opinion, he's one of the most well-rounded five that we've had in a while. Yeah, v but, versatility. But uh, he feels like he's just like one thing away. What do you, other than getting, putting the technicals, what do you think? Is a little more position? maturity. Yeah. Like, but that's all for all, most freshmen and sophomores. Think of some of the freshmen and sophomores we had that you felt that way about or yeah. like that. Just a little bit more, you know, like. I said to JJ, he had 10 points, nine rebounds. He drew seven fouls, okay? But there's some things we gotta continue to grow on. And, uh, and that's, that's, that's awesome, that's scary. He could be a lot better than he is now and look what he just did. So uh, I, to him, it's, it's, as I say, maturity and emotional maturity, the way you react to things. And, uh, and we all have been there. I, I was probably worse than him when I was a freshman and a sophomore. And then the switch went off and got out of your own way, and that's how you take off as a player. So, I mean, not to continue to just talk about Ace, because he was fantastic, but with eight new guys, like you talked about, and when things kind of looked like they were getting uh, sloppy in the second half, what's it, like, what does it say about him to just have that calming aspect and, you know, put the ball in his hands and yeah. good things are always going to happen? It's, it's sort of like, you know, good point guards. Ace and Ace we trust, right? All right, he's got the ball. Let's let's put him in some situations to calm some things down, and let's get some easier shots. Let's take care of the ball a little bit better. Will you put it in your best player's hand and your best ball handler's hand, and put him in positions to make some plays? And he did that. But I also thought today, when you know it was like 12, 14, 16, but it was choppy. He did a good job, better than he has in the past too. Pulling him, guy. All right, relax. And even looked over at me and we're we're all right. We're all right, coach. That, you know, that's that's
that's that's growth. That, that's the big thing I want to see here in the, the first month of the year with our schedule we have is unbelievable growth. Jameer has probably been sitting over there anxious to play for quite a while now. Over a year. Yeah, what have you seen out of him so far? And, and where well, he loves basketball, Tim, so it's just great to have him out there and, and sweating. And um, He's a talented player. He, he's a very talented offensive player. He's, he's getting better. He, you can see, though, at times where you know, he's a – Half step, half step, or he hops into something. He's just, he's, it's got to take some time, just like anyone that has injuries like that. Injuries where you take that whole year off. He's really a, really, you know, he's really a freshman, right? Counting COVID, I guess, right? So, um, you know, it's just going to take time. But as you see, he can, he can make shots, he can make threes, he can rebound, he, he can, he can go to the basket and. and draw fouls, so he's just going to keep continue to get better and better. And the biggest thing with Jameer, like JJ, is mature. Just continue to mature and learn the game and keep growing. Coach, what do you think would be the key to consistency for JJ? Just keep getting, being aggressive. Being aggressive. He's a, he's a thinker. He's a thinker. I mean, he's an awesome kid and he wants to do, do right by everybody. Sometimes you just got to let loose and go. And, uh, you know, sometimes I think good players – they don't want to mess up. So what happens? You play a little bit more on your heels. And then sometimes, you know, you say, the heck with it, and you go. And that, that's, that's what we want. We want that. He knows he has the green light. He knows, go, go be a player. And, you know, there's a couple times, not just him, but other guys, uh, we moved the ball so well, and we had this long closeout, and we just froze because maybe I should pass it. There's a long closeout. Guy's out of control. Go buy him, get a paint touch, be a player. And uh, we just got to keep working on it. And... Uh, well, I love the kid, though. He's, he's one of the first ones in the gym all the time. He works on his game, and, and uh, he just got to let loose. Got to let loose. Free coach. throws? Yeah. Who's the free throw coach? <laughs> Man. Is that you? <laughs> we shoot a lot. Maybe we shouldn't shoot any. The year we broke the school record, we didn't shoot many. But we, you know, when the year we broke the school record, the right guys were shooting them all the time. So we drew a lot of fouls. So. Just got to get up there, step up there with confidence and, and knock them down. So uh, we shot it really well. Um, was it the exhibition? The black and gold game. Black and yeah. gold game. Uh, in the Villanova scrimmage, we shot it pretty well. We shot a lot, but we shot it pretty well. So got to get back to it. Too many. Too many How much of that do you think is just nerves? Yeah, I mean, first night on stage, guys. I mean, you should saw us in the hallway before the game. I mean, the guys were jacked, which is what you want, man. So, you know. I'm a, I, you know, here's the biggest thing about the first game of the year. I say it all the time. We all, including the coaches, have played it through our mind how we want the game to go and how it's going to go. And then maybe it doesn't. And it never does. But that's, I can remember from junior high basketball. I'm so jacked to play the first game, put the uniform on, run your layups, bleachers are pulled out. And the first play, something happens or whatever. So, I mean, you know, just how it goes. And so it's, uh, it's how you respond to everything. And uh, we got to win. We had a lot of guys contribute, uh, but we can get a lot better. I'd like one more. Well, Coach, with four players in double figures and Jaden not really getting going, this could be one of the most explosive offenses you've had since you've gotten here. Just talk about that really quick about, with this offense. Yeah, he'll get going. I'm not worried about that. And you play with guys that share the ball. Um, especially that first half. The first half you, you saw, you know, when you make shots, your scoreboard lights up. You know, we had some open shots in the second half, but we, we were too choppy in the second half, and we fouled too much, so that, that contributed to the choppiness. Uh, but, look, uh, I'm not worried about Jay Nunn. He, he, he can hoop. He, he'll, he'll ball out for us. He'll make big plays for us. He'll make shots. Uh, but we have multiple guys can make plays with the basketball for themselves and their teammates, and that makes you hard to guard. And then when you have a point guard that gets that ball hot like uh, like Ace does and multiple guys around him that could make plays and make shots, it, it, you're right, we, we could have a really good offense. We just got to continue to share the ball, take care of it, and execute at a high level. That's bad last one. Yeah, Coach, a pretty good atmosphere tonight. What can you say about yeah. the uh, students? Actually? You beat me to it. But the students were, were awesome. Uh, the other day I was walking through campus, passing stuff out getting people to register their tickets and, and they were they were a lot coach I'm already signed up and and a lot of people signed. it was it was great and uh, uh, walking through VCU's campus during basketball season there's nothing like it it's one of my favorite things you know we we all know it uh, and then 
the, how they showed up today, and we want them to come out all the time. So much appreciation. Our guys went over there and to let them know that and, and share the love. And, hey, we're all in this together. I want our, our, I want our students, when they're done getting their degree at VCU, to say, some of my favorite memories, my fondest memories of cheering in the Siegel Center going crazy. So um, it's really hard to get in trouble when you go crazy during a 40 minute basketball game at VCU. So we want them all to come back and have a great time and make great memories, without a doubt. All right, guys, thanks so much. Coach, your son was good on TV every week. Get in there. <laughs>